Would you rather? Would you rather be half your height or double your weight? Oh, geez. <laughs> Oh my goodness. See? If you're half your height, you'd still be your same weight. Oh. Oh man, she's really thinking. thinking she's through. thinking too deeply but, on this. So you could be yeah. plump small yeah. or wow. plump yeah, big. Plump small or plump big. It all started on June 23rd. Uh, June 23rd, 2019. I um, didn't expect a real date. I just was like, ah, oh, the summer of 2019, the year of our Lord. I remember like having a panic attack. I was having anxiety and I was fearing something that was kind of irrational and I just couldn't take it anymore. It was definitely very concerning because Logan is not a, a highly emotional person to pick up the phone and he's just beside himself, crying, just kind of almost hyperventilating a little bit. We're so far away, you know, there's not a whole lot that we can directly do about it. That's when I just called grandma and grandpa because they were out of town. So I called them and I was like, I, um, I just like, I'm really struggling with this and I really need like, just, I just really need to talk to you guys about it. Then they like uh, told me some scripture and I was like, man, that really did help. Every night since then, we've called each other for the past two and a half years, and it's great. Hey, Logan, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Did you have a good day today? Yeah, yeah, it was all right. Just another uneventful day. Uneventful day. So you got your Bible with you? Yep. Okay, I thought maybe it'd be a good idea that we look at where Solomon got his wisdom. So let's look at 1 Kings. Um, so give me a heart that understands. Then I can rule over your people. I can tell the difference between what is right and what is wrong. The kings of all the world's nations heard about how wise Solomon was, so they sent their people to listen to him. And you know, Logan, that wisdom is available to all of us. Let's look at James chapter 1 and verse 5. We did James, and we did Mark, and we did... Didn't we do First Timothy? We did First and Second Timothy and Titus. For a while, I was just kind of standing back and watching. I remember walking into your bedroom one day and seeing scripture duct taped to the wall of your room, and I thought, this might be, this might be something real. Now they're going through Proverbs, and that was his choice. So it's made that progression to where now he's thinking ahead as to what they want to study. Why Proverbs? I don't know, because it just has a lot of, you know, information about just how to get through life, what, you know, all that, all that good stuff. I'm just trying to get through life, man. <laughs> Come on, I got to read his Bible. For a long time, Logan was always just very quiet. He shied away from uh, speaking up about the things that were going on in his life, the things that Jesus was telling him. Our group never actually had this moment where it was like, hey, this is what this, this means to me. And... Uh, we had a turning point in that their freshman year, and it actually happened at MOVE. Uh, after one of the night sessions at MOVE, we were all sitting down. I just asked the question, hey, wh what, is that, what is that one thing that you would like Jesus to come in and help you with? What is that one struggle that sometimes is keeping you from your relationship with Him? And then out of nowhere, Logan shares something very deep, very personal, the entire circle listened. I could just tell something changed in our group. Logan got real. Logan got personal with everybody and it opened up the door for everybody else to do it as well. He was always interested in learning more about Jesus and his own faith. I've seen him change so much in the last three years as it's now his and the questions are not just the answers that you should give, but they're actually the way he's thought it out and how it matters to him. Tell me, Logan, I hear that your D group has a name, but it is a very strange one. What's the name and why? We're called the Ox Goads. Ox Goads? Yeah. We had been studying the book of Judges and we got to this week where one of the judges, his name is Shamgar. And there's only like two verses 
of the Bible that talk about Shamgar. Shamgar killed 600 Philistines with an ox goat. He too saved Israel. We just thought it was so funny for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> What's an ox goat? It's, I don't even know if I remember. It's like a thing that herds cows. Like a shepherd's crook, oh, yeah. basically. <laughs> Logan is like the heart of the D group. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, there, a couple of them are that way. It's not like Logan is the only heart of the D group. But our D group wouldn't be the same if we didn't have Logan in it. Logan, for students out there that, you know, they're 6th, 7th, 8th grade, they don't know where to start, um, would you have any encouragement for them? It doesn't have to be like, you know, a million times a day. You just do it maybe just right before bed. It doesn't have to be long. When we lack understanding, we lack wisdom, we seek it from God, and He will, just like with Solomon, He will offer it and give it to us. Um, you got any special prayer requests tonight? Um, just for my fears to go away. Everything else same as usual. Okay, I'm gonna go get Grandpa. Okay, Logan, go ahead. And don't don't just say, oh, I'll do it the next day, because then you won't do it at all. Uh, like, you know, weeks, months, whatever it might be. Do you think you could have continued it if it was just you? Probably not. I don't think I'd really stay committed for a long period of time. I think I could do it for a little while, but then I'd probably phase out eventually. Okay, Logan, you have a good night. We love you. Good night, Logan. Love, love you, buddy. You. Good night. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. My name's Logan, and I'm a kingdom worker.